Welcome back to another video. Today I want to demonstrate how you can easily push around and pull blocks um, by an easy setup of Playmaker. Also the blocks will have a effect on the player with the mass. So this big block has a high mass so I won't be able to jump. And if I go for example to the smaller block which has a lower mass, uh, with this one I can jump around and pressing E I can just release the blocks again wherever I want. So there we go. Let's get right into it. So I've set up the scene and I just made an easy block here, um, which we are going to transform into the block which we can carry around. Um, what I did was just very easy. I used some small platforms and made them a block, but honestly, you can paint here anything using any program to make a circle or whatever. But I just made here a block. And the only thing I want to add here is one more empty and I want one neutral state here. Let's call this neutral. I will explain you later why it's also in the middle. And here I'm going to add a rigid body 2D and I'm going to zero out everything here. And it will always be zero. Uh, collision detection doesn't really matter. I prefer uh, continuous in general. And on the block we will need two. Well, we also need a rigid body here. And let's put the mass to five. Let's also put a physics material. And I like to have the player material. And let's have a look at the player. The player material has a friction of zero and a bounciness of uh, 0, 0 0.1. It's always good to also put this on the walls and everything because um, sometimes you get stuck on the side. And if you put friction zero, this helps. So I put there the player. Um, Linear drag, one gravity, also continuous. Um, I will allow it to fall around and whatnot. Then I'm going to add two box colliders. Um, and the first box collider I want to, let's see, be able to walk on. So also make sure that the tag, um, the tag of this block is ground so that you can walk on it but it depends on you if you want the player to be able to walk on it or detect it as ground or whatever you like um, and i'm going to add one more box collider which is going to be a trigger and the trigger will be outside so the player can access this cube from all sides so if it falls over or rolls over you can do it if you use let's say a, a round object you can also do this and also make sure just to make a circle collider 2d and of course mark this one as a trigger so the outside one is the trigger right uh, now where the magic happens is a hinge joint 2d and the hinge joint 2d um, shouldn't have just put it like this nothing nothing further needed and this will be the setup of the block and the reason why i have a neutral here i will show you in a second so let's just make here an fsm to the block and let's call this fsm carry block carry or push pool uh, however you would like to have it and in the starting state we will have our trigger event the usual um, trigger to the event and on the owner collider with the player and then we finish finish all right then we make a new state here and this let's say is the interact state and in the inter interact state I want first of all trigger to the event again and in this case on exit with the player then I want to send an event um, and let's just call this go back go back to trigger let's add it pull it back right or I'm gonna get a get key down get key down and let's just do the E key for the E we also use it for a dialog so let's also use it for this so this is the general interaction key but you can uh, Put whatever you like and here we have a new event and let's say carry and just add it great and then we're going to a new state here and this state we want to set property or 
the easier way is actually always make sure to lock this we're just going to drag in the hinge here so the hinge joint and just drag it in here whoops in the state thank you very much and then we're going to set the property and the property is connected body a rigid body so now i can actually uh, select where i want to connect this hinge joint to and of course the player has a rigid body so i'm just gonna put the player there and let's call this state carry and what i'm also gonna do is just get the key down here again and here i'm just gonna do finished so i press e once and then I, that block will follow me around or i will carry pull the block however you like to look at it and then i will finish and here i will then just call the state uh, not carry and in this state i'm just gonna set the property of the block to the neutral and because the neutral has no weight or anything, it will just connect the outside block into the middle so it's on its own again. And for the rest, I don't put here anything. I'm just going to go back to the trigger. So let's have a short look how this now works. So the moment I'm near the object, now it offers me to interact and now I'm not. So if I press E now, nothing will happen. But if I'm close enough, I press E. And now the hinge joint is connected to me and you can see i can only jump very a uh, very little bit because the mass the mass of the block is also connected now to the player so you can do a lot of fun things with this so for example if i duplicate this block let's uh, pull one here and let's make this a small one and let's just make the mass, let's say 0 0.2, right? And now you can just carry this block and jump around with it. The only thing is, of course, that now when I come too close to this block, I can carry that one around again <laughs> while pressing E. So there, of course, you have to play around a bit how to make it nice. But this would be a simple method as on how you could interact with these kind of blocks. And of course, you can maybe change the friction setting a little bit because now they're sliding like around. Um, but this is up to you. So I just wanted to shortly demonstrate how you could set up something where you can push or pull blocks with you. And this is an easy method to do it with Playmaker. Good. I hope it helped it helped you. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you liked the video and see you next time. Cheers.